Hi, Errol. Great to be here. Man, it's great to have you here because we're going to talk about something that so many people have hidden away for all these decades, but it's now time to start talking about it. Absolutely. It's Mental Health Action Day, and uh, it's our fourth annual. We're joined by 2,300 partners around the world who are participating. And MTV has spearheaded this national day to encourage people to move from mental health awareness to action, taking action for yourself and for others. Boy, you're so spot on with that because, you know, everybody will talk about somebody who might have issues, but they don't they don't put the focus on them at all. And it's like, okay, what are we going to do about it now? Is it because we're lost and we need someone like MTV to bring it forward like this so that we know how to take those steps forward? I think that we all just need to do what we can in our own community or for ourselves, because it really is a mental health crisis that we are in and it impacts every community. Has the definition of mental health changed and only because there are so many different levels of challenges? Yeah, so we we know that mental health is health. And so it is about doing things daily to help your mental health. Now, one of the things that you guys are doing this year, and I, and I realize this is the fourth year, but YouTube has created a video that's very interactive. I, th- this is innovative when you guys do stuff like this. Thank you. So we have teamed up with Active Minds, a mental health nonprofit, to create Ask. We consider it the stop, drop, and roll of how to help a friend. And Ask stands for acknowledge, support, and keep in touch And yes, we launched an interactive YouTube video um, that really is a quick and easy way to learn how to better help a friend. One of the things that people have talked about behind the scenes is that they always say, well, the parents didn't know. The parents didn't know. Well, I'm I'm here to say that my, my daughter knew there was something wrong with my granddaughter and they immediately got her help. And that's the way parents have got to do it. Don't hide behind something that you don't want to talk about. Yes, and I think, you know, what what we're doing with Ask is creating this simple, memorable tool for how to have those daily conversations with friends, with young ones, with your kids, with your grandkids. Um, And so you can visit asktohelp.com to check this out and really take the time to, uh, it takes 10 minutes or less, but you can take the time to go through and just think about how am I supporting the people in in my life um, and really to make those conversationals daily, to make them really normalized conversations. Um, And it can be as simple as, how are you feeling today? Um, What do you need from me? Yeah, so is, is it AI driven? No, it is not. It is um, it is a choose your own adventure style animated video. Okay. Um, and so at the end of each um, video, you get to select, you know, what you would say in that scenario. And then you learn from there. And it's um, it ends up in a place where you are really able to see the impact of, you know, what you're saying to someone in that in that conversation. In a very huge way, celebrating this this one day, which should be 365 days, but doesn't this create the conversation between friends? It's not just a friend on Instagram or TikTok, but it's a physical friend stepping up and saying, hey, look, let, let's talk. Let's let's figure out what's going on here. Yeah, I think we like to think of Mental Health Action Day as a way to sort of kickstart this for your year. And really, it's about taking one hour to take action for yourself or for others, and then continuing that practice. And really you're able to see how simple and easy things like texting a friend to check in on how they're doing, taking a walk with someone and having a conversation, or maybe taking time for yourself. See, I I totally get into taking that hour and giving it to yourself because I'm a daily writer. Journaling is so important to me. And I also do a defrag journal where I break things down. But I try to get people to understand that it is for mental health for those reasons and that they could take those steps to become just a daily writer. Just jot some notes down. Absolutely. I think one of the amazing things about Mental Health Action Day is we see all the different ways that people take action for their mental health from hockey games, to dance parties, to ice cream socials, to meditation and yoga, it really can be 
many different things. Yeah. One of the things that we are facing these days is that when it comes to getting mental health, and this has got to be one of the things that pushes people away, and that is, is that the availability of someone who is professional. It's like, okay, I can, I can put you on a two-month waiting list, or we're not taking patients right now. We've got to figure out a way to get immediate help. Yes, and there are many barriers um, right now in many different communities to uh, mental health uh, support. And that's really why we created this um, digital experience. It's not a crisis tool, but it is, again, yeah. a way for people to check in daily on each other. But I will say if if you are in a mental health crisis, you know, um, 988 is a great resource and we definitely want to make sure that people understand there are ways to get help. And, and listeners need to know, even though we've got this very special day coming up, the, the availability of this this interaction that you're talking about where you can check in daily, this is every day. This is not just one day, right? Yeah, absolutely. You can visit asktohelp.com to learn more about how to support a friend. Um, And once you've done it and, you know, enjoyed it, we would love for you to share it with someone and tell them what you've learned. Are you shocked by the number of people that are coming together, collaborating for this one day? I mean, just to hear all of the people that are involved just blows me away because it shows what kind of a community that we really are. Absolutely. I will say I'm impressed, but I'm not shocked because I do think that what we've learned over the past four years is that people just people really need this. Going into this project, Rachel, you are the student because already your focus is going to be on year number five, six, seven and eight. So being that student, what are you learning? Absolutely. So I think what I'm learning is just to to be there and to listen. I think that is one of the biggest things that I've learned with ask, acknowledge, support and keep in touch is really about You don't need to solve someone's problems. You don't need to be an expert. But most of the time, people just need someone to listen and to acknowledge and validate their feelings. Oh, my God. I'm so on your team. I really am. One more time, the the, uh, website. And then let's let's really push this because I want people to know what's going on. Sure. So ask is acknowledge, support, keep in touch. And you can check out our new interactive YouTube at ask to help. Dot com. I love it. Please come back to the show anytime in the future. And it doesn't have to be just for this one special day. It, we need to be working on this year round. Absolutely. Thank you. Will you be brilliant today? Okay. You too.